Hey everybody, hope everyone's having a great Thursday. So as I mentioned before, Thursday is Winer of the Week Day. And for those of you who maybe have never heard of Winer of the Week before, it's okay. Let me give you a quick little info about it. Winer of the Week is a special award we give out where we pick something or someone in the world that is doing something that's just kind of outrageous or outlandish. And it just kind of makes you scratch your head and be like, what are they thinking? So this week, we scour the internet, we try to see what's going on. And two, one thing I wanna let you know about the award. I tried for the most part to stay away from politics because there's plenty of really smart and funny people doing stuff about politics. So they don't need me. But for the winner of the week, I try to find something often that's a little bit different, uh, maybe something that's kind of funny too. So this week, I dialed into my computer. Fortunately, it is an Apple product, which is why I'm happy, because Microsoft Windows 10 is the winner of the week. Now, I interact a lot with Windows software. I don't own any Windows products, but often when I'm doing work or consulting, I jump on the machines. They're good, you know, Mac and Windows are kind of like apples and oranges, but they both do their jobs. But this update, whoa. Uh, this is this is not good for a lot of people. It, basically, people get the update, they get it on their computer, and in the past three weeks, there's been all sorts of problems that folks have been having with it. One is, the system automatically updates itself. It apparently is a default. So in the past, you would get an alert for, hey, do you want to update your system? Click yes or no. You'd have control over it. Well, now, it seems that a lot of the software updates and a lot of the updates, especially the ones with security, they are auto-updating, no matter what you do. I understand there might be some high-tech ways to get around some of those updates, but let's face it, for most of us, we don't know what to do with that. So we're going to be getting these auto-updates. Well, some people, they installed the new Windows system, are all excited, and their computer is caught in this never-ending loop of the programs trying to install. It freezes up, and then the system crashes. Then you reboot your computer. It starts to come back and then it freezes and it crashes again. Not a good thing for Microsoft users. You do not want an update to cripple the computer. That's not a good thing. Windows has put out some patches, you know, software, little band-aids that could help. Unfortunately, I understand one of them actually just did the same thing in a different way. Now, obviously, Microsoft, they, they got some smart people. They're going to figure this out. I know they will. And eventually, uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of features that people like. But in the meantime, it just seems like if you're going to issue a brand new piece of software where people have all these different machines and they may have adjusted them over time or there may be differences in RAM or other things, maybe you should have some sort of auto kill or some sort of kill switch where if it looks like it's not loading up, you can just kind of stop it and... Get back to doing normal computing until they figure it out. You know, often when it comes to updates, I don't like to do them right away. I want to kind of like see what's happening, let someone else work out all the bugs, and then I deal with it. Another thing. So, yeah, they, they could have uh, put some sort of kill switch on there that maybe after 90 days would have disappeared. So they could still have the integrity of updates. And I understand them wanting to do updates because they probably want to make sure people's machines are going to perform at the highest level and also that security... Uh, patches are used as soon as possible so the hackers, you know, can't go crazy and, you know, do all their hacking stuff. So, you know, okay, I, I get that. But here's the big thing, though. Okay, Microsoft. You guys got a couple bucks. You got some money. Maybe you do a little more testing before you release the product to the mass market. Now, maybe they're working on this till the 11th hour. But maybe you make it the 12th. Because I think a lot of us, you know, we've had that situation where you're getting beta software and, you know, you're a guinea pig. Even if an upgrade is free, you kind of expect a certain amount of customer service, not just like, ooh, this is a problem. You would think they would test it on every conceivable Microsoft type machine to make sure it would work. So that hasn't happened. A lot of people are frustrated. I'm sure the update's great. But it's like, come on, Microsoft, you can do a little better. You can raise the bar. So that is our winer of the week. It took me a long time to get to my usual sip of water. You need to get thirsty when you do all this talking.
So if you'd like to see some of the previous Winers of the Week, a few of them I have been saving these periscopes. I put them on Catch. It's under my account name, Ken Okel. And I also put some of them on YouTube as well. I kind of pretty them up a little bit. And of course, if you want to see all of them, because we've been doing this for quite some time, go to my website. Just like my username on here, kenokel.com. I know, very sneaky how we do it. Basically, go to the blog. One of the categories is one of the week. You can see we do them every Thursday and just kind of poke fun at people. And I'm even trying to remember, oh yeah, last week it was a bunch of truck drivers in California, 18-wheeler drivers who had been given driver's license because they paid for them, allegedly. Uh, it was a whole big corruption scandal there. Kind of scary when you might have uh, 600 people on the road who are not really licensed to be driving big rigs. But that was last week. So this week, hopefully Windows will get its act together and fix things and maybe approach customer service in a slightly better way. So I will be back soon. We did some productivity tips earlier in the week. Again, you can see those at catch.me, I guess is their thing, and it's under Ken Ockel. Check those out. We'll do some more of those probably. Maybe another one tomorrow. People seem to be enjoying those a lot. So we'll give another quick little tip. For now, I'm Ken Ockel. I'm wishing you a good Thursday. Thank you for watching The Winer of the Week. Didn't really say that very dramatically. All right.